Welcome back everyone to Gator Vlogs. Boy, does it feel good to be making another one of these. It has been a while. With you as always is me, Gator the Legend, as you guys have already probably figured out. I just felt compelled that I needed to come down here. I needed to film this video, not just for the new fans, but also for the old ones, especially the old ones, because I feel like I've done you an injustice and I need to explain myself. Earlier today, it was brought to my attention that a lot of my older fans, the people who've been there with me through the trenches, through the worst times, through the fucking years of hate and all that shit, haven't even opened up to see even one of my small tuber news episodes because all they see is small tuber news and they're thinking, oh, just another fucking news show, another Philip DeFranco, another Keemstar, another whatever uh, out there. But it's 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 not that, guys. It's not that. And th this one guy who told me this, he says. I'm unsubscribing, I'm sorry, but it's been a couple months now of you just doing the small tuber news, and that's not why I subbed to you. I did not sub to you for this. I subbed to you for all these other reasons, for all these other videos that you made, your personality, who you are, all this stuff. And I, I just can't, uh, you know, I can't click on one of these videos because it's, it's the kind of, you know, video that I don't like, that I don't want. I don't want my original followers, my diehard fans, the Gator Knights of the world that have been around since way before a couple months ago. I don't want you guys to fall off. I don't want you guys to disappear. I don't want you guys to feel like I've abandoned you because I haven't. I want to ask you a favor though. Please check out some of the small tuber news episodes. I think you would be pleasantly surprised. Now, in the beginning, when I first started this, the first couple episodes, I wasn't really sure exactly what I was g going to do. I wasn't really sure exactly where I was going to go with this, so I kind of followed just that news format just to get some stories out there. But as it continued to go, as episode after episode, I, I continued to make it as de it has involved it has evolved into something else. It has evolved into something I think is quite special, something that I think is quite unique. See, while creating these episodes, I realized something. It doesn't have to be the same cookie cutter news show that you see everywhere else. I report the story, I give my two cents, we move on. I report another story, my two cents, we move on. It can be something more, it can be something cool, you know? And it can be something where I actually take all the characters, if you will, all the different versions of Gator, and I include them in this. If you watch an episode I, I did, it says, uh, will the real s small YouTuber army stand up? You'll notice at one point in that video, the Gator you guys love and know from Gator Rants, he shows his fucking head. He comes out, and he comes out hard, and he comes out fast, and he really lays into a fucking guy. And it is just, it's just classic Gator Rants. So if you love Gator Rants, here's an episode with Gator Rants. And there's even a couple other episodes where he peeks his head out a little bit like you know and that's that it doesn't end there it doesn't end there Another example, if you love Haters Gonna Hate series that I've created, I have like 14, 15 episodes of Haters Gonna Hate, where I respond to hate comments in a very kind of goofy fashion. I never actually uh, make any true points to tear down the hater. I kind of, if anything, make their point even more valid by acting like a complete idiot. If you love that, if you love Haters Gonna Hate Gator, well guess what? There's another episode uh, where a guy roasts me. Uh, another... Uh, channel out there roasts me and I respond to this roast. I respond several times throughout this small YouTuber episode and it's classic haters gonna hate Gator. So if you love my old series haters gonna hate, guess what? There's a dose of haters gonna hate within the small YouTuber news. I think you get where I'm going with this. At least, at least I hope so. Also, I've made songs over the years. I've made a few songs. I've made a, you know, a rap. I've made a few different things out there. I, I like being musical. You guys know this about me. Uh, the ending of almost all of my, uh, episodes before small tuber news had a song that I sang over top of it this video will have that song over top of the outro just like all them other ones before but within an episode Yolo Caboose versus Fluffed Up if you go watch that small tuber news episode I create a diss track for these two guys and honestly it may be the best song slash musical thing whatever you want to call it that I have made yet so if you like Gator Sings that playlist that that part of this it's in there. The thing I've done, the thing I've discovered, is that I can take all of these things, all of these things that I've done over the years, all these playlists, all these versions of myself, all these different things, and I can slowly, I can drip them in here and there and here and there, while at the same time keeping an overall theme. It's actually quite an amazing thing, and it's making me feel more energetic, it's making me feel more excited about this channel, and more pumped about the future of this channel than I've ever felt before. So to hear that some of my OG Gator Knights are leaving me, that are unsubscribing from me, it breaks my heart, it breaks my fucking heart, man. Especially when you say you didn't even watch any of the small tuber news. At least give it a shot. 
at least give it a shot. You know? That, that, that's all I can ask. Look, guys, at the end of the day, if you don't want to be subscribed here anymore, if you don't want to support the Gator anymore, that's absolutely fine. Uh, the one thing I would like to say, if you are watching this video and you plan on uns unsubscribing, I want to say this to all of you out there, all of you who've been there with me over the years, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you because I personally feel like we've we finally made it. We finally made it to the finish line. We finally made made it to the point that I know what I want to do. I know where my passion sits, and you guys were all part of that. Even if you all leave tomorrow, it doesn't change the fact that you were all part of the groundwork that led to where I am today and where I'm going. So I can never thank you guys enough. Thank you so fucking much, so fucking much. I don't think unless you have done the grind yourself and been through a lot of the shit I've been through, I don't think you could ever truly understand how it feels having support out there. Because when it comes to the real world, the real life, the only people that listen to me are the people closest to me and it's always out of this kind of like, I have to. You know, they won't say that to you, but you can tell. They don't give two shits. They don't care. They care for you because you care and it's your passion. But other than that, there's no one in the real world. There's fucking nobody in the real world that gives two shits about this channel. That gives two shits about what I'm putting out there. But you guys always have. You've always been there. You've always supported me. You've stuck by me through thick and through thin. And there have been some fucking thick and there has been some fucking thin. We both know that. So thank you a million times over, and if I don't see you again, best of luck in all your endeavors. And if you ever do want to see me again, I'm not going anywhere, guys. Unless I get hit by a train or something, I'm still going to be here. I'm still going to be making videos, but more than likely, not going to lie, it's going to be small tuber news. And to all you new subscribers out there that have followed me because of the small tuber news, and that have somehow made it this far in this video without completely being like, what the fuck is he talking about? This is a small tuber news guy, right? What what the hell is he going on about? Is this a rant or a vlog? I don't even fucking know, but I want to thank you guys. I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart, from the depths of my soul. I want you to understand that I made over 200 videos before all this shit, over 200 fucking videos before I started small tuber news. We have been through some shit together, me and the OG Gator Knights. We have been through fucking shit, man. You had to be there to truly understand it, to truly appreciate it for what it is, for what it was. Uh, and it's okay that you guys weren't, uh, you know, it's probably for the best. Hopefully these people give me a chance and they, they watch me again. You, you know, they took a chance on me before when they first watched me. I, there's no one who came into my fucking channel for the most part that was coming into it thinking, I'm going to love this guy. They're coming into it to hate. They're coming in to hate because of the iDubs videos. They were coming in here for that, but they stayed. They stayed for the Gator, and now they're leaving because they think the Gator's gone. I hope they realize the Gator is not gone. But anyways, back to my point. Small Tuber News fans, all you new guys, oh my God, thank you so much. You guys have like given me so much energy. You've given me so much passion. You've told me, hey, Gator, you're on the right path. You're doing the right thing. This is, the, you know, you're reinforcing this whole entire concept. You're giving me more confidence than I've ever had before to continue making these types of videos and getting them out to you guys. I'm so freaking excited about where we're headed with this channel, where we're headed with Small Tuber News, and how big you guys are growing, and how much support you guys are giving me on Twitter, how much support you're giving me here. It's crazy. I never, I never really, I always hoped that I'd get to a point where I was uh, receiving this kind of support, but I never actually truly believed I'd get there. So to finally be here and to be in this position, in this moment, it's just, it's overwhelming. I mean, you guys don't understand. You, you, you new people, you just, you just don't understand what I've been through. You, what I've been, and it's been some dark shit. It's been some fucking crazy times. And my, my true fans have been there since the very beginning. You guys get it. You guys understand. And when I see them leaving, it, it really digs at me. It really digs at me because I know how long they've supported me. I know how long they've been there for me through the, the worst times, through some shitty videos and through me getting 10 times more dislikes and likes and all that stuff. So just thank you to all my OG Knights. Thank you to all you new people because you guys are fucking awesome. You guys are amazing. I hope you continue to support. I hope I continue to uh, entertain you guys and continue to make videos that you enjoy. The number one person out of all this that I have to thank and, you know, not name drop. I know I say his name a lot, but I can't help it because without him, this channel doesn't even exist. It would have died back at the beginning of May in 2015, but because of him, I am still around. Because of him, I'm in a better position and making better videos now than I've ever made before, and that's iDubs TV. So, 
I doubt he's watching, especially at this point in this video, even if he did click on it. But thank you so fucking much, TV. Thank you so fucking much. May 19th this month is three years since he roasted me, and he put Gator Poon on the map, which eventually became Gator the Legend, and has been ever since. So thank you, TV. All you other guys, thank you so fucking much. Thank you guys so fucking much. And until next time, I've been Gator the Legend, and you've been great. Peace. I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can't I only fit two dicks in my ass? My meme, yeah. My meme, yeah.